Hi, I'm Mel and I am Double Pisces Tarot. Today I'm doing a reading for Pisces. So today is the 25th of May, 2024. Let's see what's in the energy today for Pisces. So just remember this is a Pisces collective reading. Take what resonates for you and leave the rest. But if you're watching this video, there are messages for you in it. Even though I did say the date, this is a timeless reading. So whenever you watch the video is when you're supposed to receive the messages. Pisces. Messages for Pisces. Pisces messages. Okay, Pisces, you have marriage. First card of the reading, then you have mature man. So this could involve someone that is in masculine energy. They don't actually have to be male. Just in that masculine energy, this could be a teacher. This could be someone that's wise. Gandalf's coming out to me. I don't know. Lord of the Rings could be significant. I am watching that at the moment, uh, going through all the series. The Hobbit also. Um, then you've got sudden wealth. So there could be something that's unexpected that's coming in. A commitment, a marriage, someone wanting commitment with you. You could be seeing the number 777. That could be significant. I find the number 777 is like a lucky number. On the back of the deck, you've got community. So community could be significant. This person could be from your community, whether this be your local community, whether this be your online community. This person looks wise, though. Someone that's books could be significant. Learning could be significant. Someone that could live at a distance. <clears throat> but there's something sudden, you know, sudden abundance. So you could be receiving money also. There could be this receiving of money coming in, but there is something unexpected that I feel you will be surprised over, whatever this is. I feel like this is a person. This could be someone that you had a commitment with. This could have been someone that you were married to also with the marriage card coming out. This could lead to marriage. Okay, messages for Pisces today. Nine of Swords, first card of the reading. The Eight of Cups. Then you have the Ten of Cups. Could be focused on family at the moment, children. You have the hermit. The king of swords in the center of your reading today, Pisces. Then the ten of laurels. So the Ten of Cups on top of the Ten of Laurels. Tens could be also coming out. Ten is a completion, like Ten Ten. You could be seeing that. The King of Cups. The Knight of Wands. And the Ten of Swords, 10, 10, 10, that's crazy. It's believable. <laughs> On the back of the deck, you have the Five of Swords and you have the Tower. Something unexpected is coming in for you, Pisces. Something that you don't expect. This is going to be surprising. Okay, I'm just going to check out what the cards look like before we start the reading. These cards are extra long, long and narrow. So it might be a bit harder for me to get them in vision, but I am 
going to look at some type of better camera angle soon. Okay, so let's get into it, Pisces. Let's grab out the clarifiers. Nine of Swords energy. First card of the reading. This could be you. This could be someone else. I feel like you may be stressing over something at the moment. Not being able to sleep. Thoughts running through your head. <clears throat> you could have left a situation. What's the Nine of Swords? So you have the world. So there's that completion. The world, Capricorn energy could be coming out, could be significant. Saturn. Saturn has been coming out. Saturn rules Capricorn. Well, Saturn is ruled by Capricorn. So there is some type of cycle being completed, I feel, in your energy. Then you have the moon and the six of swords. So there could have been some type of illusion, something that you didn't see. You may be feeling intuitively that you need to complete this cycle. This could be leaving you in your head, completing a cycle in your energy. But with the moon coming out, there's some type of illusions. Pisces Cancer energy could also be significant and Capricorn. But there is something that you're leaving, you know, with the Six of Swords, you're leaving something that hurts. So, you know, you're leaving the Five of Swords. So there could have been some type of conflict or argument. Someone may have made you walk away. But as I say always, everything happens for a reason. You are hopping out of your emotions and now this is pushing you along the path you're supposed to be going along. This could have been with someone that lives at a distance, someone that's a different nationality. But I feel like that cycle is being completed for you to hop out of those emotions, for you to learn this lesson and move forwards. At the moment, too, I am watching the two towers of the Lord of the Rings. And it's funny, the two towers come out like what at the beginning of the movie. And I said to my husband, I'm like, oh, the moon, the moon. You know, the moon right away, it's got the two towers, just came out and the moon card's coming out. So there's some type of hopping out of those emotions, focusing on yourself, following those gut instincts to move forwards because what you're leaving behind is what you're supposed to be leaving behind at the very moment. So now you've got the Eight of Cups here. What's the Eight of Cups? There's cycles being completed. You've got a lot of tens out here. What's the Eight of Cups? You have the Page of Pentacles. So you could be focused on something in the material world. You've got the Eight of Pentacles. Working really hard, getting down to business. You could be focused on home or focused on building money for the home. But I feel like you are leaving something that wasn't fulfilling you know you know that there's something else out there there's more for you and the seven of wands so i feel like there could have been a bit of conflict also you are fighting for what you believe in you're fighting for what you want something to do with the material world that you're really focused on you know but you're leaving that old emotions you're hopping out of the water you're looking towards the moon and you're starting to make that journey, okay? You're going to fight for yourself. You're going to fight for what you want, your home, your family. But this is like some type of new beginning. You know, hopping out of those emotions has closed a cycle and is now pushing you forwards in a new direction. What is the Ten of Cups? What's the Ten of Cups for Pisces? You have the Eight of Cups. The Six of Cups. And the Ten of Swords. Okay, so for the Ten of Cups, 
the Ten of Swords, more Tens, the Six of Cups, and the Eight of Cups. So yes, there was some type of betrayal. This could have been in a marriage. This could have been in a relationship. Two people coming together that look at each other like emotional fulfillment. So you could also have children with this person. But I feel like this person betrayed you and I feel like you're leaving that situation. There are a lot of memories between you and this person. You've also got the Six of Cups coming out. So, you know, this is someone from your past or a past lifetime, someone that is a soulmate, someone that's supposed to be here at the moment, you learning them lessons from this person. But I feel you, this may be what leaves you in your head, looking at these memories also of that past, of that past relationship. But this also propels you forwards, I feel. I feel looking at those memories of that betrayal, being reminded of that betrayal pushes you forwards uh, to focus on yourself, focus on your happiness. You could, as I said, you could be focused on family, but you're leaving something that was not fulfilling. And now you're going towards things that are fulfilling in your life, you know, that fulfill you, this energy or whatever this was in the past did not fulfill you what is the hermit what's the hermit for pisces <laughs> the hermit virgo energy someone looking at the star The habit reminds me of Gandalf. I don't know. Sorry, I'm just full this week. The last two weeks I've been really Lord of the Rings you so. You have a journey. That is your journey. And then I looked up and I looked at the Hermit card. There is a journey that you're on, your path. This could be something spiritual in your life you know, this lesson that you're learning. You've got the Nine of Swords. There could be a lot of challenges that you've been facing. You're thinking, when is this going to end? When are these challenges going to, to leave? When are things going to be more peaceful? When is the road going to end? And then you've got the Star in Reverse. So I feel like you're giving up hope a bit with the hermit coming out. Then you've got the hermit clarifying the hermit. So, you know, you are going deep within. You know that there's some type of path that you need to follow. I feel like you feel that there's bad luck. You don't seem to get a break. More Virgo energy on the back of the deck. There's something you've manifested and it's not coming in as quickly as you want it to. With the star coming out in reverse, I feel like you're trying to control this. So the star Aquarius energy, following the star, I feel like you're, you're, you're sort of giving up hope a little bit of following this dream. Like when is this ever going to, you know, come into fruition? There's this big journey that you're on. You're like, you know, you're like Frodo. Now, it takes him three movies to get to Mordor. <laughs> oh, well, not really. He's in, he's in Mordor at the moment on the second movie. But you know what I mean? He doesn't get to Mount Doom until the third movie, like right at the end. So, you know, it's a big journey. There's this big journey. But in the end, it does pay off. There's going to be challenges. Um, there's going to be people that are going to challenge you. There's going to be good times. There's going to be people that you meet along the way. But this is all part of the journey you know you've got to enjoy the journey you know don't be focused just on the outcome so what's the king of swords what's this king of swords for pisces you have the king of swords these cards i love these animal tarot but it's you know, telling you straight up, the King of Swords is the King of Swords. 
air energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. You've got the Nine of Pentacles. I knew it was you. You know, you're looking at this logically now. You may have been being a d bit delusional about it. Thinking, when is this going to come? But you need to get into that frame of mind. But that this is a big journey for you. You're nearly there. You're at the Nine of Pentacles. You're really focused on yourself. You're looking very attractive to people out there. You focused on your dreams or focused on your family or whatever it is you're focused on. And then you've got the Three of Swords. Page of Wands on the back of the deck. So King of Swords, Air Energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius... You know, there is heartbreak in your energy, but I feel like you are moving forwards. I feel like this is not shown to people, these emotions. You know, there could have been some type of third party. I feel like you don't look at that, though. You know, this could have been with someone that's a logic thinker, someone that has air in their chart. There could have been someone that hurt you. You know, I feel like this person sits back looking at you too. So there could be someone that's watching you online, this person that could have hurt you. This person could be holding back this third party. This is just coming out for someone in particular. But I feel like you're moving forwards. I feel like you're not thinking about that person anymore. You're trying to get into that logical frame of mind of letting go of those old situations and being focused more on, you know, on playtime, on fun, on whatever you're focused on is, you know, is fulfilling you. And the past is, you know, that past hurt, you're trying to let go of it. What's the Ten of Laurels? The sun is really coming out today. Also, Leo energy, your happiness, family, children, healing. What's the Ten of Laurels? The Ace of Swords. The Eight of Swords. In the reading, you can see things aren't coming as quick as you want it to. But I feel like Divine's message is, to, you know, to enjoy each and every moment, even if you haven't reached, you know, that that victory point yet. What's the Ten of Laurels? The Knight of Wands. There's a lot of imprisonment in the mind here about moving forwards, about letting things go, letting thoughts go, you know, having that clarity to focus on, you know, family, abundance. You know, there's some type of action being taken here. I feel like this is you. I feel like you need to get out of your head. There's something about being imprisoned in the mind in this reading today with you Pisces, just feeling like the victim, but knowing this is a new beginning, like even though you could be feeling hurt, alone, things aren't coming into fruition, I feel like you need to keep putting that action forwards with the Knight of Wands coming out. So someone that's passionate, someone that's like this dolphin, you know, dolphins are happy and friendly and flamboyant and playful. You know, being yourself. You now you need to get out of that frame of mind of feeling like, feeling like the victim. Okay. Because I feel like you also could have family, you could have friends, family. You know, your unconditionals, those people that are there for you. They want to help you. They want to push you along and bring you to your abundance and bring you into, you know, your happiness. And I feel like you're ready to start that new. And I feel like there could be people around you that are helping you push forwards. But that abundance will come in. And I feel like you need to realize now that everything and everyone around you right now is, 
is abundance, is your happiness. You know, the people that are there, the people that are giving to you, the people that are giving you what you're giving them, those that calmness, they are your people. There's people here helping you, okay? You know, you, if you, even if you need to talk, I feel like there could be people, there's people around you that are there for you, okay? No matter what you want to speak about, there's people are going to listen. You are not alone. Okay, Pisces. What's the King of Cups? What's this King of Cups? You have that sun coming out, Leo energy. Healing, happiness. The three of pentacles. There could be someone in your energy that has water in their chart. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Whether they're in your life yet or not, Pisces is a different story. This is coming out, you know, in future energy. Depends on what your timeline is. And the Four of Cups. So there could be someone I feel in the future coming forwards. Someone that may have missed an opportunity. You've got the King of Cups coming out. Water Energy, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. This person, you know, with the King of Cups... They are balanced in the mind and heart. Someone that knows when to use their emotions. Someone that's not afraid to show emotion when need be. This person has a lot of emotion for you. You could also be married to this person. This could be this mature man that's coming out because, you know, a mature man is someone that is balanced in the mind and heart. Someone that, you know, the mature man is like the divine masculine, I feel, to me, he's wise, he's, under, he's understanding, he's learned, he has skills, he, he learns the lessons, I feel. And, you know, this person sits here, I feel this could be someone, as I said, that you're married to, someone that's protecting you, someone that's healing. Leo energy could be significant with this person. You could also have children with this person, but I feel like this person may have missed an opportunity with you in the past. With the Four of Cups coming out, I feel like they are coming forwards. With the Sun coming out, the Yes card, they're coming out wanting to work on something with you, wanting to collaborate. You've got the Three of Pentacles. So there's three people working on something here. So there could be someone that you're working on something with in the material world because you've got the pentacles but this could be also working on a home working on stability someone that may have missed that opportunity in the past you know but i feel like they see the light i feel like yes they're coming towards you in the future do expect to hear from an energy This could be a new energy. I'm not sure. They are someone that's missed an opportunity, though, in the past. So there's someone that's in your energy, okay? There's someone that's around you, someone that's been in your energy um, that's not new in your energy. So they could be a friend. They could be a lover. As I said, they could be someone you're married to. They could have children with you with the sun coming out also. A lot of red red and yellow with this person so this person is like healing warmth what is the knight of wands so action being taken you've got the five of pentacles The Seven of Pentacles. And the Knight of Cups in reverse. So there could be no communication or very little communication between you and this energy. There's, there is action being taken though with the Knight of Wands coming out. Someone that's coming in passionately. You've got the Knight of, Com Knight of Cups coming out in reverse. 
So I feel like this person, they're coming in with this passion. They're coming in with fire. They're coming in starting something with you, whether it be something in the material world, whether it be love. Everyone's story is different, as I always say, but I feel like this person looks at you like the warmth. They could be left out in the cold, someone that feels alone, someone that's been sitting in solitude, trying to find the way. And I feel like, you know, once they've hopped out of this water and they're looking for the direction, they feel that sun, they feel the warmth and they realize they're like, whoa, that's nice and warm. What is that? So this person sort of sitting in contemplation, there is some type of time that has gone past between you and this person. So as I said, this could be someone that's not new in your life, whether this be someone that is a friend, is someone that you had a relationship with, but there has been time that's gone past between you and them. There's been work on something together. But I feel like they come in with some type of passion, you know, not emotion. You know, the Knight of Cups is like someone that is coming in, you know, with that emotion to show that that side of things to show that they are reliable, that they will be here for you. But this person's coming in with this fire. So, you know, a lot of passion, a lot of drive. You could be pushing each other to excel. But this was like meant to be. It's like this person was on their own mission and you like crossed paths. What is the Ten of Swords? What's the Ten of Swords? What's the Ten of Swords? You have the Lovers. The Page of Cups. And the Eight of Wands. And the Ace of Cups on the back of the deck. So you have the Ten of Swords, betrayal and ending, hurt. It's a lot of feathers. So there's protection. I feel like there was some type of betrayal for a reason. Okay, so I feel like with the eight of wands here, you know, look at this bird, it's flying, there's some type of action being taken, but all these wands are flying around them and they haven't actually hit the bird. So it's like there's some type of protection. Also, all these swords aren't actually, you know, in the person here, but they're aimed at the person. So. I feel like there could be some type of ending that you're choosing to start a new beginning, okay? So there's some type of messages. I feel like you might even see something about a betrayal, something that's going to put those 10 swords in that's going to make you choose to start something new. With the lovers coming out, Gemini energy could be significant. You've got the page of cups. So there's some type of news. I feel like there's some type of messages that you're going to hear. It's going to help you make a decision to, to end that old and start new because there is someone coming in with the Page of Cups, a newer energy, something that there is a lot of emotion. Like, look at all those fish. There's a lot of fish there. I feel like this is going to be like long living. You know, that's like 
more than one fish, that can be a family of fish, that can be generations of fish all living together, following each other. No, this is something that's going to grow old. You making that choice to let go of something that, you know, that was a betrayal, something that could have hurt you, letting go of betrayal, letting go of things that hold you back. But there will be a message I feel coming towards you, I feel, in the future that's going to make you choose something new because you did have the Ace of Cups on the back of the deck too. So there is something new that's coming towards you that's going to be long living, okay? Could be from a younger energy, you know, this mature man doesn't actually have to be older than you. Could They could be just wise, you know, someone that's mature in the mind. We did see that King of Cups coming out also. So someone that is wise, someone that isn't afraid to use emotion. You know, and I feel like... They will come in and say something to you. You could be working with this person, you know, take what resonates, but words are going to be said. Could be from someone that, as I said, you could be working with, you could have children with, with the King of Pentacles. Earth energy could also be significant. Yeah, this person, you know, you may have... given this person an opportunity in the past but they won't they weren't focused on it and i feel like once you let go they realize that they missed that opportunity but do expect this person to come in what's the five of swords You have the Eight of Cups, the Nine of Swords. And the Knight of Swords in reverse. Six of Pentacles on the back of the deck. So you could have been giving to someone... This person could have been breadcrumbing you. You've got the Five of Swords coming out, so there could have been some type of conflict. There's a conflict or argument. As I said, you know, you're in that Six of Swords energy, leaving a situation that could have been some type of conflict or argument. Everything happens for a reason. With the Five of Swords, though, this person is sort of realising that they just wanted to win and they realise that they do need to come back and apologize. I feel like there is you leaving this situation. This person's now imprisoned in their mind, not being able to sleep about, you know, this decision about not coming forwards. Uh, so you may have wanted this person to come forwards. Uh, you may have not seen that, f seen or heard from this person. Um, which is leading to that Ten of Swords energy, I feel. You're walking away from that. This is something that isn't fulfilling. You could be walking away with somebody else. What is the Tower? So you have the Six of Swords, the Seven of Swords, the King of Pentacles and the Chariot. A lot of movement forwards. There could have been deceit, betrayal, something that was hidden. A lot of knives in the back. But I feel like this was knocked down to build something new. With the tower coming out, Aries energy could have involved someone that has Aries in their chart. This is something that hurt you also, you know. I feel like this was something that was really significant in your life. But this was protection, I feel, from the divine. You know, the divine was protecting you even though there could have been some lesson that was a lot of hurt. This is leading to 
a new beginning and it's leading to your destiny, I feel. You know, it hurt a lot, the deceit, but you're walking away from the deceit. You're making a new plan. With the King of Pentacles coming out, you're someone I feel that's stable. You're someone that's working on themselves. You're working on your career. There is money I feel coming into you. Do expect to feel or to see some type of abundance, whether it be little or big, whether it be extra money in your bank account. Now, I feel like you're not stuck anymore. I feel like that was a trap. Now, this person was trying to trap you, um, but you have the angels protecting you. That's the thing. And there's something good coming in after this tower moment. Uh, so I feel like Pisces, as I was saying, divine's messages, like there's this imprisonment in the mind. Things aren't coming quick as you want them to um, after leaving a situation. But keep going. Things are slowly, you know, coming into, you know, those right areas to to bring in that victory for you. And you will see um, the answers come to you very soon. But you're doing the right thing, Pisces, leaving this energy, leaving things that don't serve you anymore, even though it could hurt leaving this energy. But, you know, 11, you could be seeing ones. You're on the right track. This was leaving you stuck. You know, this is, it's like the devil's work at play or something. It's coming out. Now let's grab out a fortune telling card for you, Pisces. One card for Pisces. You have the queen, a fair woman may cause you unhappiness. Do not worry. And we will do some music messages. So pick your pile, one, two, or three. You can pick more than one. Give it a quick little shuffle. And you got pile number one, two, and three. So pile number one, you have As It Was, Harry Styles. Number two, I Only Want To Be With You, Dusty Springfield. And number three, Against All Odds, Phil Collins. So listen to those songs, they will have messages. I will grab out now a Celtic Spirit Oracle card for the collective. One card for the Pisces Collective. I'll grab this one. Dream. Manifestation. Plan. B. So I feel like this. Keep manifesting. Keep doing you. Keep planning. And be in this very moment. Um, Memento Mori is coming out again. Remember, you will die. So, you know, live in this very moment. Be, enjoy the very moment. And I'll grab this other card. This card was sitting there. The Maiden, Innocence, Love, Past. Okay. So... You've got the maiden coming out, innocence, love, past. So be love, something new's coming. Uh, you've also got past there. This could be someone coming from your past, okay? So whether it be a past lover, whether it be, you know, someone that's in your life that isn't, it's like not someone that's just new. I feel like this is coming in. This is part of the plan. <laughs> I'm going to leave it there, Pisces. Thank you all for coming to my reading. If this is your first time, welcome. Just remember all my readings are timeless. So if you ever want to check out my channel, there is a playlist for Pisces. 
Thank you all for watching, liking, and subscribing every day. It means so much to me having you all here. I am doing personal readings, so if you'd like a personal reading from me, check out the link in the description below. But I love you all so much. Have a great weekend, even if you are working. Enjoy every day, you know, memento mori, as I always say. But I love you all so much, and I'll see you all again tomorrow. Bye-bye.